Hi everyone! Just jumping on today with some exciting news. As you can tell, it's exciting for me. I hope it's exciting for you. It's been something that I've been talking about for a long time now and I'm really excited to bring it into the reality. Not just a vision anymore, not just an idea. Uh, make it a reality now that it's 2021. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Emily Mahana. I've been a big advocate for educating uh, children in STEM. So that's science, technology, engineering, and mathematics education. I've done this through pageantry. I've done this outside of pageantry. And this idea evolved as I was interacting with students all across New York State. So my big idea that I'm finally bringing to life now that it's 2021 is STEM Sundays with Emily. So <laughs> every Sunday starting next week, not today, but next week, I'll be uh, putting out some videos with a different, a different STEM activity every single week. So starting next week, all the way through December uh, into next year, 2022. Crazy to think it's, uh, you know, that, that close, but every week I'll be posting a different activity relating to one of the different factors in STEM. And it's, it'll be perfect for uh, students, teachers, parents, families, really anyone who wants to learn more about STEM and get their students or children involved in STEM education. Um, as an engineer, I think it's so important and really so exciting to be learning about STEM and using STEM education in my everyday career um, now that I've gone through you know elementary all the way up through college and I think it's one of the building blocks for education. I think it really gets children excited about learning and these hands-on activities hopefully will help your little ones uh, get excited about learning too. So speaking about all the fun activities I have planned which I, at this point, have up until March, so a lot of activities on the list. Next week, we'll be doing one of my favorite activities, and this activity I've done with students all across New York State. So this activity, which is rooted at, um, in my home, my home base in engineering, is building with toothpicks and marshmallows. So two really simple things. You probably already have them at your house. Um, I use them to show kids what you can do in terms of building structures. I lean towards bridges just because that's my favorite, but you can build houses. You, I've had people try and build windmills. Uh, kids just have such a great imagination. So I've got some really fun ideas to share next week with you. Uh, in terms of materials, I use toothpicks and mini marshmallows, but I've had people ask to use jelly beans. You could also go large scale and use the long wooden uh, like grilling skewers um, and big marshmallows. So that's a fun activity if you want to build really big uh, using the toothpicks and the mini marshmallows. You're going to have some smaller structures that you can do on your dining room table. Uh, the others you can probably do on the floor and build some really fun, fun structures. So I'm really excited about next week. I'm really excited about the activities I have planned for the future. I just wanted to thank everyone who's been so supportive of me and this idea, and I'm so excited to share this with all of you in the new year. So thank you guys so much, and I'll see you next week for the first episode <laughs> of STEM Sunday. Thanks, guys. See you next week.